The Yu Zhan Vong War, 25 to 29 Abbey, also known as the Great War by the Yu Zhan Vong, was a near apocalyptic war which arose when the Yu Zhan Vong, a nomadic warlike species which had long ago fled the destruction of its own galaxy, invaded the galaxy. After several decades of preparations, scouting and provocations, the Yu Zhan Vong entered the galaxy at a point codenamed Vector Prime and swiftly conquered much of the Outer Rim. Chief of State Borsk Faria's ill-prepared and inefficient New Republic government was unable to prevent the extra-galactic species from driving inexorably toward the core. Coruscant, the galactic capital, was conquered and remade by the invaders two years after the invasion had commenced, by which time countless species had been wiped out and entire planets rendered uninhabitable. Using advanced biotechnology in every field of life, the Yu Zhan Vong were masters of adaptation and subterfuge, as well as brute force and terror tactics. The beliefs that the invasion was divinely ordained and that the galaxy was theirs by right were reinforced by Supreme Overlord Shimra Jamane and the priest caste, the condits to the gods all Yu Zhan Vong worshipped. Thus, the species attacked with ferocity, their invasion stalling only once the fleet under command of Warmaster Saving La, had overextended itself. A vendetta against Luke Skywalker's new Jedi Order, a heretical movement brewing among the lower castes, and rumors that their long-destroyed homeworld haunted the unknown regions were only a few of the factors which caused the stagnation of the Yuzhan Vong Empire. After their swift advance, technological parity soon emerged between the New Republic and the Yuzhan Vong. The Mandalorians, led by Boba Fett, joined the Yuzhan Vong Empire in its quest to conquer the galaxy. This, however, was a ruse, and the Mandalorians were actually double agents, later joining the rest of the forces defending the galaxy. Once the New Republic had recovered from the loss of its capital, the Yuzhan Vong were dealt a disastrous defeat at Ebak 9. Racked with internal tensions as it was, the Yuzhan Vong Empire was still able to neutralize many of the threats facing it, including the Yevatha and the SSI Rook, before going once more on the offensive. The New Republic, which was reformed under Alderanian Chief of State Kalomas into the Galactic Federation of Free Alliances, was brought to the brink of defeat, and moved toward the fatal deployment of Alpha Red, a pathogen hostile to the Yuzhan Vong, in response to a renewed Yuzhan Vong advance upon its temporary capital at Dak. This dangerous end to the war was averted when Zonama Sako, a seed of the lost living homeworld of the Yuzhan Vong, emerged over Coruscant, its arrival precipitating the final battle of the conflict. Skywalker and other leading Jedi, who had located Zonama Sako and urged its return, defeated Shimra Jamane and the true master of the Yuzhan Vong, Onimi, during the battle, while fleets of warships clashed once more in space. The Yuzhan Vong War ended with the deaths of the Supreme Overlord and the surrender of Warmaster Nars Choker's Armada. The resulting Sako Accords, which stipulated disarmament and amnesty for the Yuzhan Vong, proved deeply unpopular for many. Both the Yuzhan Vong, and the aftermath of their devastating war, played a major role in events to come. <laughs>